He, uh, his dad, Bogomir, was out oh, there. Oh, those guys are going. Uh, oh, they are going. But Geiser, <laughs> as we say, we're talking about him here, just finding a way past Boutron. His dad was getting pretty kind of uh, animated, telling him what he was doing wrong at the end of pit lane and going into that corner and all the rest of it. And it was almost going in one ear and out the next. And you kind of thought, you say, I don't want to be here right now, do you? But there's Boutron coming under pressure now from Siwa. Siwa looking on the right-hand side here, number 91. And Boutron, I think, uh, just starting to feel the heat a little bit, maybe in more ways than one. Doesn't have the experience that the guys had racing in these conditions in Moto number one. Of course, it was like this in qualifying yesterday, but, you know, looking like he's going back Gio. pretty sharpest. Yep, Gio's going to get him on this section here. Some big jumps out here, eh? If Gio keeps it tight, then he's going to be on the inside coming into the next Yeah, corner. quads his way over the top and uh, going to have the right go. line going into this left-hander. Gets it done. He fell there in qualifying from fourth. Oh! oh Ferrandis coming from out of nowhere, splitting Guio and... Uh, who was that? Uh, Boutron, wasn't it? Right, here we go. Watch this. Boutron, Guio, and then from out of nowhere, the Kawasaki, 122.